Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon. In this session, we are going to see interview questions on join. Means suppose uh, there is a example, um, means you will, they will give you the uh, employee table and project table here and they will ask some questions on it, means to write the SQL query on it. So first of all, yeah, be careful about the table structure means understand the table structure first then you can easily write the sql query on it means employee is the column and there is a relationship is defined in this no means here is the employee id and here is the employee id so for do the joining in between two tables there is a common column required correct here is the employee id and employee id is present but if you closely of that one Vikas is assigned on multiple projects, means HIMS, Kinetic, and Survey Management. Correct. Here is the complete information about the employee. Vikas, Alat, Nikita, Jain. So, uh, salary is mentioned, joining date mentioned, department, and gender. And here is the project table, means on HIMS project, employee 1 is working on. And for survey management, employee 1 is working on, means Vikas is working on this. On HR management, second one is the Nikita. Then third one is the internal portal and time system. Which one? Yeah, Ashish. Correct. So for fourth project, there is a wealth management. Sorry, seventh project ID wealth management. Nikhil is working on this. And if you see, there is a sixth employee ID, but with that record is not present. So so such a uh, data is for our uh misconfusion point of view primary key or foreign key so here no any primary key foreign key is mentioned correct so uh, there is a no any relation in between that but still we have to assume means employee id is the common column and we have to join based on this uh column and condition means whatever there is a inner join left join right join and full outer join we have to take the decision based on the equation so first thing first uh, we will go through the um, some questions on it and uh, we will solve one by one correct i am dropping the existing table first yeah and creating employee table here you could see there is a emp id and no any primary key mentioned and i am inserting five records in it and create the second Table. actually it is just for uh, um, our explanation point of view but uh, in interview you will get the only these two tables and add there is a five question or a, a six questions and the time is 30 minutes or a 20 minutes based on the complexity of the uh, call uh, actually question yes and uh, yeah then i am inserting record in a project table so if you see here you could see there is a five records in it and in project there are eight records got it and uh, after that here actually i am reverse the position means there is a project name it should be here because we are inserting that things but it is also allowed means emp id at first time and then project name is the second so you can do that as well but i it should be a project name should be the first then emp id i just uh, return for the for your information means uh, you can reverse the order but here that order is a must be important means one is going into the employee id table means emp id column value okay um get the employee name here just before all this i am yeah i am explaining you i get the employee name project name order by first name means employee first name because first name is at here not in the project name correct for those employee means for those employee which have assigned project already means 
we have to find such employees who are present in the project means they are means project is assigned to them correct so which join is important here inner join correct select first of all i am making a select star from then find the exact column first of all do the join in between these two table employee i am making as a allies e inner join which table project correct p on condition is same miss e dot emp id is equal to p dot project id sorry emp id my bad and uh, here you will get all the columns means suppose there is a project id here means this is the data and in there is a emp id one is match with that particular um, emp id correct and hims kinetic shift survey so those right now our objective is get the emp name project name correct so emp name i am making it as a e dot first name comma e dot last name means we will get the employee name got it and uh, then what is the output again there is a project name project name we are getting from here so p dot project name correct and yeah order by first name means first of all we have to make the order in between that order by first name e dot first name for those employee which have assigned project already means those are the employees those are available in the project so we will get the list with the help of the inner join so this is the final result means ashish is assigned on internal portal as is available on timesheet nikita then nikhil sharma and nikita jain correct so so such a data we will get it from here got it then next question get the emp name project name order by first name of all employee even they are not assigned in the project means what they required first of all i am making a get the emp name project name means employee name and project name because we are retrieving the data from two tables correct so we required the join and order by first name means order by this means in the last example we see in the order by clause correct for all employees means all employees those are present in the employee table even they ha they have not assigned in the project it is not necessary to assign on the uh, this pro uh, this this table or not so we required the we join it here because we re we required all the records from the this table so left join we are using it and left side we can keep the uh, employee table so how to write the query first of all i am making a star and then we will sort it which columns we required select star from employee e correct left join or you can put as a left outer join as well both are the simple same one project p on which condition e dot emp id is equal to p dot emp id on the basis of this we will get all the records from left tables here there is a one there is a two then three four and five means all the records from the left table but you could see there is a fifth record 
means there is a no any project is assigned to that uh, employee correct so in front of them there is a null value is showing got it but get the name of the employee name means i am making it as a e dot first name comma e dot last name and p dot project name correct so we require the means whatever the list employee name and project name order by first name okay order by e dot first name means they are in a ascending order first name for all employees for all means we require the all the rows from the left table means from the employee table if i am making it as a right join then employee we have to place at the right side yeah and uh, even they have not assigned the project means we require all the list of employees even they not assign the project got it so this is the query for that and uh, yes just execute it so here anish ashish means they are uh, in a sorted order just save it and yeah get the name e employee name project name order by first name all of employee if project is not assigned then display as a no project assigned means suppose yeah means in the last uh, question we seen employee name project name order by first name for all employees correct and if project is not assigned means sub this ashish anish no any project assigned then instead of null we have to uh, show as a no project assigned how to show that very simple write a query and here we have to handle the null condition each null then no project assigned we have to show very simple one no project assigned as project name here is the for in sql server for string we are using the single quote yeah and uh, as a project got it no project assigned yeah next question is get all employee get all project name comma employee first name even they have not matching any employee id in left table order by first name first of all we required the data from the both the tables correct employee and uh, project correct select star from employee e i am making as a join but we join i am not mentioned it here and project correct p on e dot emp id is equal to p dot pro emp id correct so what you will get actually you will get in when you not mention any join then it will act as a inner join let's start yeah correct you will get inner join but what they are saying right now project name employee name even they have not matching any employee id in the lab table get all the project name means they want all project name so which one join right join correct and in the left table miss employee is the left table right now order by the first name order by 
e dot first name and in select which columns we require all project name and employee first name very simple um comma p dot project name got it means actually uh, order by as i said miss null will be at the top one so null is come at first and then ashish nikhil nikita vikas so based on their order you will get complete project name list got it yeah this is the answer for that then next question get complete records employee employee name and project name from both the tables if no match found then show as null get all the records complete records from both the tables if no match found then show null, the null very simple i am copying existing query here no any order by mention correct okay then which join we require all the records correct from both the tables if no match found then showing as a null value then we have to use the full join means if no match found correct select star from and then against automatically they will show the null value select star from uh, employee e full join project p on the basis of employee id and emp name and project name they uh, e dot first name e dot last name comma p dot project name got it or uh, suppose we have to concat this then we can do as well and here you could see there is a this project this project fifth one uh, em fifth employee no any project assigned and there is a one more project means there is a e-learning management no employees assigned in front of them we are showing as a null value so if we execute it then you will get yeah ashish is on the bench no project assigned to him and e-learning management is the project and the project is miss not assigned to any employee got it so here if i have to make the combination of both the columns then you have to make as a string concat miss plus operation and in that there is a you have to write the underscore or you have to give if you are not giving anything then it just concat correct but we required one space in between them and here is the derived column means actually we created the new column right so which is the combination of two columns plus x means we can uh, call it as a expression and uh, as name correct so name of emp name or we can call it as a emp name it is better correct emp name and project name next one write a query to find the emp name who has not assigned any project then display no project assigned means what we require actually here write a query to find out the employee name correct from employee table we will get that and 
who has not assigned any project then such display no project assigned correct yeah same question asked in uh, i think second uh, there is a get employee name project name order by first name for all employees if the project is not assigned then displays a no project assigned correct so same logic we have to apply but question asked in a different manner right now find find out employee name only employee name and who has not assigned not all only those employee not assigned project correct so where is select star from employee e then left join why i am using the left join because you will get all the list from the employee table correct if i am using the inner join then only matching records we will get right now i will require all the employees from the employee table correct then lab join with project table project p on a dot emp id is equal to p dot project sorry emp id it's my bad and uh, yes here you will get complete list of employees at here right and right you're going to find out the employee name means we have to find out the employee name who has not assigned any project then displays a no project assigned here we are getting as a null value because this is not no any project assigned so where p dot project id is null correct means no any project assigned to this employee because already some of the employees having assigned the project so if project id is null then we can check that yeah in the left side there is a row but in the right side there is a nothing data in it so at that time we have to apply the such a conditions means where p dot project id is null so we will get only those records uh, those are not assigned on the project side correct and uh, here employee name so i am making as a e dot uh, first name comma e dot last name and what they said yeah any project assigned to not assigned to any project then display as a no project assigned and then we have to show as a p dot project name correct so what you will get there is a project name nothing and we have to handle the condition as if there is an obviously we will get uh, null condition you can write the uh, syntax as uh, no project assigned is it also fine because obviously we are retrieving only data who having the null records as project means no project assigned to this employee then in display the no project assigned so this is the answer for this query yes next question write a query to fetch the employee name and project name miss project who has assigned more than one project if we see uh, more than one project means select star from project from data you can easily see here is the project correct sorry in project table there is a employee id means uh, employee id is present as a three times this is the three as a two times and both and some of the uh, having one count only write a query to fetch the employee name and project who has assigned more than one project means here we have to count correct 
actually i will show you uh, count means mean max sum average in the later session but time being just count is the aggregated function and how to use that yeah count of emp id from project where right now i'm count count is here and along with count of emp id is greater than one if you execute it what you will get aggregate function and we require the group by clause here i am making as a first of all group by which one employee id is the column in that and i am making as a count as well emp id and count so here employee id three times employee id means two as a one time three as a two time if you select it and star and uh, project so yeah one three times correct so you will get group by means this is the group and this is the group correct so you made the group by employee id and count of emp id or you can count as a project id both are the same means whatever the uh, columns the record count of it means one two three then there is a two count and against of which employee id means emp id and here is the project count and they said who has assigned more than one project means we have to apply the condition having count of project is greater than one means you will get only those employee assigned on a multiple projects correct as project count so what you require fetch the employee name and project so again there is a here we will get emp id but emp id we have to make a join with employee table how to join that very simple you can do the in clause as well or you can use the um, join as well correct first of all i am showing you using the inner join select star from employee e inner join this is the table we will get the result correct from this and emp id and count is not required because we we uh, get the result based on the count means only employee id we required correct so inner join on uh, as a we can mark it as a this is nothing but the derived table on t dot employee id is equal to e dot emp id e dot emp id so you will get two records in it one and three and in that what you require employee name and project so again we have to make a one join in between that e dot e first name comma e dot last name correct here again one thing is missing project name so project name assign very simple means right now we have to join one more table then inner join i am adding the one more table here project p on here there is a employee correct i am adding the e dot emp id is equal to p dot emp id and from p you will get project name first of all we find out the employees who having the count 
means more project assigned to that particular employee then we got that correct so we will get two employees means uh, um, vikas ashish and their projects name as well got it and we can achieve in another way means there is a instead of the uh, inner join we can use the in clause as well means let's say i am writing the same query in a different format first of all what we did here we got all the employees having the count of project is more than one correct and we have to get the data about it means from employee correct uh, select star from means we required the name of that particular employee that's why employee where emp id in same column we have to compare in here is emp id in means in the result set which records are matching so only two records correct and then at the end we have to make a inner join with project here we have to place that particular join in the before of the where clause means employee and project we have to join and uh, based on e dot employee id and p dot project id so you will get all the list of uh, project and employee correct and here employee id is the ambiguity correct so you will require only e dot emp id correct and we are filtering the record means we will get all the employees data in it but means those are assigned on a project and they are having the count means only there is a one and three means those having the count is greater than two so don't be uh, mentioned at a p dot emp id here we are checking means employee dot id got it let's check yeah there are but here you will require only three names means the three names means uh employee day first name last name and project name so you will get the final list same query achieved by these i will upload the same query on my blog and uh, so you will get that uh, and uh, yeah from your practice point of view and do the practice ask the same questions myself miss what will be the uh, salary then there is a department or something like that and you will uh, miss you can easily write the different query and uh, one more thing just uh, miss there is a inner join left join try to practice on it so that uh, yeah you will miss you can self learning as well and uh, you will get the best on the data multiple result different things and then observe which records we are getting yeah and still you have any doubts then let me know in a comment session and then i will yeah then check it and i will try to answer it yes and next question there is a it is very simple means uh, customer and invoice first of all um, we will see in excel there are two tables one is the invoice and second is the customer correct and invoice having the id as a 1 2 3 4 and there is a billing date correct means invoice having the uh, invoice date as a 1 jan 2015 2 jan then there is a 5 jan and 8 jan correct 
and whatever the amount of that particular bill or uh, invoice and customer means uh, this invoice is uh, uh, actually allocated to that particular customer and means on the base basis of that particular customer id means that invoice was done and there is a customer master table correct in your database and there are multiple customers means n number of customers and right now here they given us the seven customers and four bills correct or four invoices and the name as shown at here and there is a first customer sagar they and no any referred by this customer and second one is the ajit referred by whom sagar then there is a second uh, amar and ajay referred by ajit and there is a third one uh, sorry shivam fifth one is the customer and referred by third amar and there is a kunal which is directly means come into the shop no any reference and uh, deepak referred by whom ajay so this is the referred by and uh, name of the customer and customer id and that customer id is present in the invoice table correct so let's see in detail means different questions on it first of all i am dropping okay creating the table and inserting the data in it customer and invoice okay select star from invoice so you are getting this data and uh, for select star from customer you are getting this seven records in it correct so first question to retrieve the customer name those not buy any goods here we have to check means suppose these are the customer those not buy any goods means one buy means buy anything means there is a two three four these are the presents but these records are not present then which join you can use either right join or a left join how to do that because those are present in the customer table and not present in the invoice you can make it as a left or right both the using both you can achieve this result first of all i am making as a customer as a left join and you will get this uh, three records in front of them there is a null value correct so how to do that let's try in a sql select star from customer inner join which table invoice c and i on c dot customer id is equal to invoice dot customer id means c dot id as a customer correct so you will get only common employees here sorry common customers are at here but you require retrieve customers name who not buy any goods means actually these are the customers who bought the something from the shop but some of them are not so in this case we have to use the left join and apply one more condition here means here i am getting all the customers who not buy anything from the shop so where c dot id is null because sorry invoice dot id because there is a nothing record in the invoice means against of this customer is null then such a records yeah id and name and c dot name correct c dot name that's it very simple means these are the customers those are not means not buy any goods in from the shop and 
in different way how to write that actually with the help of the in clause i will show you select first of all we required the data from customer correct where c dot or uh, we can say i am making a lies as a c and then c dot customer c dot id not in we have to first of all mention the customer ids select star from invoice correct so you will get list of employees sorry list of customers from here but here you want customer id correct see you you will get customer id and if i am making it as a in then you will get the common list here means those are present in the uh, customer as well as in invoice means those bought anything but if i am make, making it as a not in means those are not present in the right table those who not bought anything that's why yeah this is the same answer shivam kunal deepak so they didn't bought anything from the shop that's why their name is here means there is a not in clause actually i will explain means uh, not in exist in the uh, future section uh, sessions but uh, right now just understand yeah what is the left join not in condition and next select or a top five customers having large amount of bill show in ascending order we required customers having large amount of bill correct means we required the customer name and uh, having large amount of bill showing in the ascending order means those bills having the their order is the in a ascending first of all i am making it as a customer c join invoice i on c dot customer id is equal to i dot in inner join no need means no problem means whatever is the left side or right side top five customer having large amount of bill large amount of bill means here is the amount correct so we want amount right and then name means customer name i am making it as a customer and amount order by amount in a ascending order and after that top five customers of five customers having large amount of bill showing in a ascending order actually in amount you will get yeah these are the customers ascending order or in some cases they will show uh, they will give us as a descending order as well instead of the so descending order is just we have to put the order by amount descending so 7845 means from analysis point of view means who bought 
major means we having the large amount so we required some data from the database means monthly overview correct so at that time such a clause are required means top 5 top 10 or a top 50 and order by just ranking means from ordering the particular amount correct so this is the and here large amount of will show in a descending order means we required the customer as well as invoice and you can mention inner join as well no problem result will be the same then third one customer having large amount of bill and ascending order and date is greater than 5th of Jan 20, uh, 2015 correct so same query we have to write and we will get I am writing here star and large amount of bill and here there is a no any top clause is mentioned correct customer having large amount of bill in ascending order and date is greater than 5th Jan correct miss date of the uh, bill correct or invoice right here which column we have to consider right now yeah ambiguous column because in a star also we got the uh, right now I am not in a, doing the ascending order yeah amount here is the bill date we have to filter the data and greater than date is greater than 5th of Jan correct and in uh, database day date is alternate uh, saving in this order means there is a mm sorry yy mm dd and then uh, hours minutes second millisecond correct and here you have to mention date is yeah build date first of all which table having the date yeah invoice so i dot invoice i dot build date it is greater than which one so is greater than fifth of jan so no need to mention the uh, time as well fifth jan correct and no is equal to because they are saying greater than equal to then you have to make as equal to they are saying greater than and order by amount means amount here right so see invoice dot amount i dot amount and no need to mention the star customer name having no need to mention the amount as well customer name having large amount of bills in ascending order means either based on the bill or a name of the customer you can make the order by clause right now i am making the order by clause on amount and uh, date is greater than 5th of jan correct so only one customer which is after the 5th of jan here i am executing this query correct after 5th of jan 1 8 5 2 means 1 2 5 and 8 only ajay correct so you will get only one record as a ajay and no need to mention the star that's it and order my amount means um, either actually there is a uh, amount in ascending order or a descending order or a customer name so you can mention that as well with name ascending order by name got it yeah such uh, result of that and copy will yeah answer of this and next question customer name they having the bill which is the very simple means we required the data from both the table correct customer name they having bill select star from customer
correct inner join in vice okay then select because here uh, if i mention here then here you will uh, red underline here means intelligence so i c on c dot id is equal to a dot customer id so you will get common records means customer name they having the bill correct and only c dot name there are multiple customers means from if you see left join in it then uh, you will get seven customers but some of the customer not buy means they those are having the bill and those are not having the bill so inner join means those are having the bill next one bill amount after 5th of jan by customer wise we uh, we required the bill amount means and uh, after the 5th jan by customer wise means customer how much uh, they are having the bill and we have to add the one more clause at here as a fifth jan and bill amount and customer means there is a nothing uh, uh, left join right join full join we require the only inner join here means they are and which date where uh, invoice dot bill date is greater than fifth of jan 2025 2015 okay 2015 1 at 05 so you will get only one employee sorry customer if more than means there is a large data set then it is suitable no uh, bill amount c dot name comma i dot amount and uh, after fifth of john by customer wise customer wise means order by c dot right now the table having the less data that's why we are not getting too much in it but customer wise and whatever the amount so you will get complete means there is a order by c name is a to z up to the and there is a whatever amount they uh, have in the invoice table so we can solve using this query Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like it, please share it and subscribe my channel. Thank you very much. Bye bye.